One thing I'm finding with these ULED zones and clean air zones that are popping up here, there and everywhere, a lot of people are getting caught out because of familiarity or not so much familiarity with the area that they're driving into. And before they know it, they're getting fined and all hell breaks loose. Well, you won't believe this story. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, last one of the day, uh, barring anything that needs reporting I suppose. Hope you're doing alright, let me know in the comments below, everything's alright where you are and that you're going to have a good day. And uh, as I said, we're nearly at the weekend aren't we, which is the main thing. Well, clean air zones, let's look at Bristol shall we, I was fairly near there at the beginning of the week and reading what I'm reading here, I'm glad I didn't go all the way into... Bristol Town Centre, otherwise I might have been caught the same way as this poor guy. Alan Stubbington is his name, and he drove to Bristol. It was the first time he'd actually driven in Bristol Town Centre, and the reason he was there was to see his seriously ill, yes, seriously ill, 12-week-old granddaughter. Uh, he went in, and he entered into the clean air zone, and he thought, you know, I've got to concentrate on the roads. I've got to make sure I know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He remembers seeing green clean air signs, but was under no pretext that he had to pay anything. He just wanted to get to see his granddaughter. Then the other thing that went through his mind as well was that his car was reasonably non-polluting, so no problem, should be all right. Sees his granddaughter, goes home, and the next thing, a few weeks later, he gets two fines in the post. Clean air zone fines, two of them, at once. Where he'd gone on two separate occasions, not thought anything of it. Now, the dodgy thing with these uh, fines, the timing where they appeared on his doorstep, he had no meaningful time left to lodge any kind of appeal to get rid of them. It was already gone. Usually they give you a certain amount of time to appeal and then that's it. Now, I leave a link in the description below uh, about this and you'll see in the article as well, there's two or three other examples of this same thing where people are getting fined and they're not getting that fine or notification of that fine in the post till it's more or less too late and there's no room for any meaningful appeal. It almost seems to me like they're dishing up a load of fines like this and sending them out in batches and bugger the person whether they get it on time or not, cough up or else. And there's another guy in the article as well that's totted up a load of fines and he's very, very worried. It's intimidatory as well, all of this. Now, when the council was tackled on this, they gave the usual green bullshit about how we're going to meet the government's pollution targets as quickly as possible. Poppycock, you just want to put all the LTNs in place and 15 minute the hell out of the place like everywhere else. And they're also saying that there are mitigating circumstances by which you can lodge an appeal and everything else. I hope Mr Stubbington has his quashed as the reason he was there was quite legitimate. And, you know, what might have taken his eye off the ball was quite legitimate. But he will not recommend anybody go to Bristol. And I can't say I blame the guy. Does anybody live in another clean air zone where this sounds familiar? Let me know. Leave a comment below and uh, we'll compare notes. And Alan, Mr Stubbington, I hope that your young granddaughter is okay and pulls through. Best wishes to you. I'm off. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.